Welcome to Security Brief, I'm your host, and today we're spotlighting CVE 2025-9478, a critical use after free vulnerability in the Angle graphics library within Google Chrome. This flaw could allow a remote attacker to trigger heap corruption simply by luring a user to a maliciously crafted HTML page. Google pushed Chrome version 139 to 0.72 fade to done by 54 to patch this issue, and major Linux distributions like Fedora 41 and 42 have already issued urgent Chromium updates. The vulnerability affects Google Chrome versions earlier than 139 by 0.72.58.154. Angle, the almost native graphics layer for translating graphics calls, exists in Chrome's rendering stack on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS Fedora. 41 and Fedora 42 have released critical advisories for their Chromium packages, advising all users to update to at least version 139.25.8144 to mitigate the risk. CV 2025-9478 is classified as a use after free UAF vulnerability. In a UAF scenario, code attempts to use memory after it has been freed, creating an opening for attackers to overwrite memory structures hijack execution flow, and potentially execute arbitrary code. Chromium's team has labeled this defect with a critical severity rating due to its ease of exploitation and impact scope. The flaw resides in Angle's handling of WebGL or 2D canvas context. By serving a specially crafted HTML page, an attacker can trigger a sequence where Angle frees an object prematurely, but later code still references that memory. The attacker then reclaims or corrupts the freed memory, leading to heap corruption that can be leveraged for remote code execution under the browser process privileges. No public exploit has been confirmed, but proof of concept code could be developed quickly given Angle's open architecture. To stay safe, update Google Chrome immediately to version 139.0.7258 on 1.54 or later. Fedora users should apply the critical Chromium updates released for versions 41 and 42. As always, keep your browsers up to date, avoid visiting untrusted sites, and follow security advisories from your vendors. Thanks for listening to Security Brief. Tune in next time for the latest in cybersecurity news.